Welcome to Smithsonian Spotlight. I'm Susan Spencer. Asked to name favorite things from Mexico, and a lot of people will say food, tacos or tamales, perhaps even tequila. But there is another import from south of the border that is at least as popular, namely mariachi music. We have all seen the brightly colored, silver-studded outfits, the wide-brimmed hats, but beyond the glitzy surface is an art form with a rich cultural background. That's precisely what's attracted Smithsonian's Center for Folklife and Cultural Heritage, which is dedicated to understanding and promoting grassroots cultures in the U.S. and around the world. Mariachi has survived for more than a century. It is still going strong. So sit back, relax, crack open a cold cerveza, and join us now as we embark on a musical journey. One of the things that really appealed to me about mariachi music was the fact that it was a very extroverted music. I remember going to a legendary place in Tijuana in Baja California. This mariachi circled our table and they started to play and I said, wow. It was such powerful music, just reached out and grabbed you and said, listen to me, I'm good. Listen to the kind of general feel of music, kind of like jazz has a feel. Mariachi has a feel. We listen to the trumpets. Listen to the violins closely. And it's very distinctive, there's no other music like it. 